Business is all about relationships. You've heard the term, your net worth is your network. Well, business will grow at the rate at which you invest in relationships. In this video, I'm going to give you four tips for increasing the value of your customer relationships and showing up so that your business can grow. Hi, my name is Julie. I'm co-CEO of Funnel Gorgeous and our business grew because we had great relationships and we established those relationships early. So if you think that business is some magic bullet, that revenue is driven by some new ad strategy or tactic, you're wrong. It's really the basis of how well you grow and nurture customer and collaborator relationships. So let's dive right in. Tip number one, be yourself. I know, I know it sounds so general and so vague, but the better you are at being authentic and transparent and real and consistent, the more likely you are to get customers and clients to come calling. So there are a lot of people who show highlight reels. They only show the good. They show the aspirational lifestyle and that's great for a little while, but that gets so boring. It gets so boring. It's so much pressure on you. Sometimes when life isn't going well, it means you ghost your customers and clients for a long period of time. And that's not what we want. We want you to show up as a real human, a relatable human, a trustworthy human, because that is going to go so much farther than some fancy photo shoot that just shows your life as perfect. Tip number two is to be relatable. You want to find a common connection point between your customers and you, between your clients and you, between your collaborators and you. When it comes to building relationships for business, people are naturally and inherently pretty selfish. When they decide whether or not to engage with someone, they want to know what's in it for me. And so you have to be able to show up with something relatable that they can say, huh, that's really interesting. What she's teaching or what she's doing. I want that in my life and in my business too. So I'm going to reach out just like in dating. You have to create common ground and this works both with clients and customers and with collaborators. So if you're trying to get on somebody's stage or you're trying to get an interview with someone, you need to find where that common ground is and be relatable. And that means showing up consistently as the real you, like we said in tip number one. Tip number three is the fortune is in the follow-up. A lot of us get skittish if people don't say yes right away. We forget that customers need sometimes 12 to 15 touches with us before they buy. And the same thing goes with collaborators. If you're trying to build your network, people don't want you to just ask them for a favor right out of the gate. You need to dig your well. And so, you know, if you are not focused on relationships, it might feel to you like, well, why do I do that? That's a waste of time. Like, why do I send them that message? Why do I do that coffee chat? But this is all digging a well so that at some point in the future, you can ask for a favor or for an endorsement or for, you know, an affiliate relationship and you will actually get a yes. So you have to build a foundation and the same thing goes with customers, right? Maybe customers buy and then they fall off. Have you followed up with them? We've even had customers who've asked for refunds who have not been happy and we've still continued to follow up and they have purchased later. And of course, a lot of our funnels and websites are designed for the one to 5% of people who are going to buy. And then we forget about the 95% who need more time. Don't forget about those people. The fortune is in the follow up. And tip number four for showing up for your customers is be interested in what they are interested in. Have you ever been to a dinner where you're sitting next to someone and all they do is talk about themselves? It's so annoying. And have you ever been at a dinner table where you sat next to someone and they asked you questions like really good questions. It makes the conversation so enlivening and it builds rapport and builds trust. So you want to learn how to be a great listener and get interested in what other people are interested in, because that is the fastest way to build rapport. And so if you're looking even for clients, high ticket clients, have you thought about interviewing them, asking about their business, asking about their life, instead of just going straight for the sale, get interested in what they're interested in and who they are. It's going to actually make you a better salesperson, a better business person, because you're going to really understand their problem and be able to solve it in a way that makes them feel good 
makes them happy and makes them more likely to refer you. So we've established that customers and clients relationships in general are the lifeblood of your business. How healthy and vibrant a business is, is based on relationships. But sometimes you need to show authority. You need to show that you're credible. You need to show that you're top dog in your niche. In the next video I have, I'm going to teach you how to establish authority in your niche. Even if you don't have any of those fancy logos or as seen on banners that show that you're a market leader. Go ahead and click on that next video.